Darling, don't be afraid I have loved you for a thousand years I love you for a thousand years so I'm back with another episode for my wedding series and these are gifts that you can give to your flower girl and ring bear. I'm going to show you little projects that I did to make them very personal and especially because they are children I wanted to give them teddy bears something that will make them feel really special and be really personalized. So I went to build a bear workshop and it is the most fun experience no matter what age you are and Ricardo and I basically picked out two different bears that we decided to get and one for the flower girl as well. And as you can see here, um, you basically build your own bear. You get to stuff them and then you pick out a heart for them where you kiss it and make a wish for um, the little bear that you're going to give out. And then they go ahead and they stuff it inside of the bear. They also give you like a barcode if you lose it. It's just really, really cute. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because since they are children, they're really young. I think it's something that they're going to enjoy. And you only get married once, right? So why not go all out? And you can give these gifts to ask them to be part of your wedding or you can give them to them afterwards for thanking them for being part of your wedding. Now you could also choose tons of different little outfits but I didn't find what I was looking for. I wanted something that was different than everything else because they still had little themes going on. And the best thing about it is that you can also give them like a name and it comes with a birth certificate and everything like that. So the only thing that I bought for their outfits was this cute little dress and some little panties and shoes and I ditched the veil and I went ahead and just added the dress but I wanted something that was a little bit more personal so I decided to do like a cute little flower crown of course for the flower girl so all I did is I went to Joanne Fabrics and I found these um, branch looking flower things and I cut it and I also tied it together with string because I thought that was more durable than just glue by itself and then I went ahead and I glued it afterwards um, so as you can tell I'm tying all of the branches around it together and then I went ahead and I chose these flowers that were fake, of course, and I took them off the little stem. And you can choose whatever kind of flowers that you want, if you want them to be bigger, smaller, or whatever colors you want as well to match the color of your wedding, your wedding colors. And that is what it looks like. I love the result and how it came out. And I think this makes her look more like a flower girl. And then I also made this little card for her and I customized it with like rhinestones and feathers, something that was really girly and she absolutely loved it when she received it. And then inside I made it really simple because I wanted her to read it out loud. And we also have two ring bears in our wedding and I looked for these shirts on eBay. They were less than $3 and the little bow tie was less than $3 as well and it matches the tuxedo that they're going to wear. And then I customized the shirts. So what I did is I made these designs on my computer software and then I went ahead and I put them on printable transfer sheet papers that are made for fabric. You can find little kits like this at Joanne Fabrics or Michaels or even Walmart because that's where I got mine. So what I did is I just prepared the shirt itself after I cut it out by ironing it, making sure there was no wrinkles on it. And then I slowly peeled off the back of the logo which has the adhesive to stay on the shirt permanently and you can wash it afterwards and everything like that once it's cooled off. And then I centered it to where I wanted it to be and then I placed parchment paper on top to secure the heat from the design that I had laid out and with the iron I went ahead and I followed the instructions on how to make sure that it stayed on there permanently and then you slowly peel it off and it's on there and that's pretty much all I did for the bears it was really fun and easy to do and then also for them I added cute little cards that asked them to be our ring bears and I attached them to their little boxes that it came with with some ribbon on there and I give it to each and one of them so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe for more of my wedding series and let me know what your theme is for your wedding or what you're doing to plan your wedding. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!